so we got the VPS. A lot of you remember that. Um, awful lot of people use it for the virtual time slip. But included in every VPS is a system called limits and triggers. You can set limits for too much uh, side G, too much total distance, uh, too much pitch, too much roll, too much yaw, yaw rate, pitch rate, um, you know, forward G, backward, anything it measures, you can set a limit. And have that limit fire one of two triggers, a 12 volt trigger that can go 12 volts or go ground, or a five volt that can be at zero and go to five, or five and go to zero. So that, you can uh, do things like if the vehicle travels lateral travel too much, you can set it for, hey, six feet left or right, I want to drop the chutes. 1,326 feet, 660 feet, 590 feet, you can drop the chutes. If it has three degrees of body roll, something bad's happening. If you've already seen a one or two or three Gs of side load, something bad's already happened, and you could trigger maybe a rev limiter where it's only got 2,500 RPM rev limit. So you're not going to go down the track unconscious at full throttle or drop the chutes or kill the engine. So a lot of things you can do, and it can sense, you know, uh, y'all, y'all about to hit the wall, too much pitch, too much uh, roll, you know, y'all rate, pitch rate, you can do any of that stuff you want. It is not a wheelie control. It's a wheelie old crap limit. Um, the wheelie control is an add-on feature that as it goes up, it can pull more and more power. As it comes down, put it back in. This is going to get to a limit and throw a trigger which could be used on a uh, step retard, something like that, a rev limit, to make it come back down, but it's not a control. It's more of a save my butt. So, if you got a VPS, I'll probably do a video soon on that, post up on the blog of how to use that, but it's in there. Um, just play with it on the bench. If you have to be in shop mode, which will turn your screen green on the utilities, and you're good to go. Shop mode just for seven. Here. So, if you... Um, Set it up for, I want to have, I can set it up here for y'all. So if it gets more than like, say, three degrees left or right pointing, then it will trigger the trigger. So, you know, on a, uh, something like a blown pro mod I mess with a lot, I would certainly do one where if it's seen more than like a G and a half or two Gs side load, you've probably already hit the wall or you've got it up on the headers for uh, training wheels and uh, it's time to do something. Simultaneously, you can have a, a roll limit. You know, your car should probably never have more than like two degrees of roll in any condition. If you're seeing light under the tires, good drop the chutes for me while I've got a chance to save this thing. The lateral travel is very interesting because we it's gonna zero when you let go of the trans brake and then it's gonna track the length of the track, how far left or right you've moved. And you can set a limit, as I like to put it, when you're back at the trailer a little saner and you're thinking about your wife and your kids and your family and your expensive race car, you can say, hey if I get more than eight feet one way or the other, do something. Whereas when you're driving it, you're pretty sure you've got it until you don't. <laughs> so, you know, uh, side side G, um, roll, y'all, you know, we can internally log so you can start getting data before you do anything about what's my y'all rate. You get that exciting pass that, that turned out okay. Okay, what was that y'all rate? That's about my limit. And then you can set a limit for the y'all rate, the pitch rate, the roll rate, which is how fast it's going, not how far it's going yet. But obviously if it's rotating at 90 degrees a second, it's going to get exciting real quick. So, but even two degrees of y'all is eventually a problem. If you go far enough laterally, it's going to hit something. So it sees that I've only got a half a degree of y'all, which is not a problem. And I'm not even moving that way anymore, but I'm just slowly. So if you're one degree off course, eventually you're going to run into something. If you're eight degrees off course, you're going to run into something sooner. So it's, that's an interesting feature of it. That, you have to make the call um, how wide's your lane. You know, you're not going to change it every run, of course, so you'd have to kind of look and say, look, my car should go within three or four feet either way. I'm covered six feet of racetrack as I go down. So let me give myself four feet either direction, and that's my limit. And frankly, if you were to drop the chutes in a high horsepower car part way through the run, it doesn't slow you down that much if you're still under power um, in the event that you had a... Uh, you had your sensitivity, you, know, you had too little of a limit set. So, you know, it's, I think it needs to be used a whole lot more. If your wife or girlfriend finds out this exists, she's gonna make you buy one and use it. So it's uh, it's a good feature. Um, it's been a long time coming. I've seen too many accidents at the track, some that cost lives that were easily preventable. You know, um, I mean, a little bit far out there. If your car is mid air, it's probably at zero G. 
or at some point it went to zero G in the Z axis. Throw the shoes. Your car should never be at zero G. You should always be at one G on the earth. You know, so, but as it goes up in the air and starts coming down at some point, it was at zero G. So it'd be very good to go and toss the shoots at that point.